Hey guys, this is Positive Girl 11, otherwise known as Takesha or Nikki, and I'm coming with my week 29 update uh, for a gastric RNY or RUNY surgery. Um, my surgery date was December 19th, 2012, um, and I had uh, my surgeon, excuse me, was Dr. George Lynch out of Nashville, Tennessee at Baptist Hospital uh, Metabolic Surgery Center of Excellence. Um, so, uh, last week I came in at one, was it 155 or something like that, something crazy like that, and this weekend, or this week, excuse me, um, I come in at 155, I believe, point one or something, I think it was 155.6 or something like that, I went down to like 154, I've seen as low as 152, but, um, but today, right now, I'm 155.1, so... Um, no real loss, but that's cool. Um, I've been doing some crazy stuff this week, so <laughs> maybe it'll all pay off come uh, weeks after this. So, uh, I can tell you one thing. I am very, very sore. Uh, for those of you that follow me on Facebook, you know the shenanigans and the foolishness that I have been doing all this week. Um, you know, we're doing the Sleeve Singers Challenge and at least 43 minutes a day we are to do some sort of activity, log it into MyFitnessPal or I think another um, site, uh, MyFitness something or something other. Anyway, uh, so that's what I've been doing. I haven't been logging it on my fitness pal, um, but I have been doing like the Nike runs and I have a map my fitness or map my run. So I think those are the other two things that you can uh, log it into. But anyway, uh, until August 1st, uh, so for her surge anniversary, one year. So that's what I've been doing this week. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot of different things I have been doing some different things and um, and it's been great it's you know it's <laughs> let me tell you something Ben Gay and me are gonna be very good friends um, last night I could barely walk um, I was yesterday it was just a day for me I um, it was just a blessed day for me and um, you know, you, you don't realize who you're touching. You don't realize who you're inspiring. You don't realize who you're motivating. And um, and I was so humbled in yesterday. I was so taken aback in yesterday. Um, because I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm just, you know, just trying to do this thing for me, which I am. I'm trying to be better than I was yesterday. I can't do anything right now. Today regardless if I want it to be or not, today is my rest day. So... <laughs> I can't do nothing for you, sleep singer. I'm just saying, today is the rest day. Um, I, I have been going hard in the paint for the last four days, um, and it's it's taken a toll on my thighs, my legs. Um, I was doing some tire flipping on Wednesday and yesterday, and let me tell you, when you tire flip, you are going all the way down all the way down, okay, and throwing that joker up in the air uh, to flip it. When you do them type of squats, you gonna feel the burn you need to feel. So, um, needless to say, uh, my legs are jello, and I put some Bengay on them last night. But man, I'm gonna need something else because <laughs> your girl cannot do anything, and I'm. I'm a type of person that I'm just, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. And uh, let's get it in. And I can't, I'm, but I need to stop because if I don't stop, I'm going to really injure myself and that's going to be a whole nother issue. So I'm, I don't want to do that. I'm going to stop today and keep it moving. Um, maybe I'll do some light work over the weekend, but uh, I don't think I'll riff things back up until Monday. Um, so this week has been pretty good. This week has been pretty good, I must say. Um, last weekend, I went on a date <laughs> uh, with, a, with a good friend. Um, I've talked about him before, um, and um, he has come back into the spotlight. And um, really good guy, really good friend. Um, He's one of those that you can just tell anything to, and um, there's really no judgment there. So, 
um, and really supportive. And uh, so, anyway, we went to see Kevin Hart. So let me explain. Can I just explain how short that movie was? Um, wasn't expecting that, but it was a very, very short movie. Um, and then after, it very funny. To anyone that likes Kevin Hart or likes his comedy, please, you should go and see it. It's just very short, but you should go out and see it. It is a hilarious comedy stand-up movie slash documentary deal. It's, it's very, very funny. Um, and then right after that, we went uh, to the park, um, his son, and um, he, his son, and myself, we went to the park, and... Um, went for like a two mile walk and um, and we just talked and um, and that was very very good so um, his birthday is coming up pretty soon so we may be celebrating that um, probably with family of his and mine so um, so I look forward to that that's this weekend coming up not this weekend that we're in right now uh, this weekend I am going to a wedding I haven't been to a wedding in years uh years 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 so i'm gonna go to this wedding with a good friend from mine here at school um and uh i got <laughs> let me tell you so i posted two pictures yesterday on facebook um and i do a lot more on instagram so i'm positive girl 11 on instagram if uh if you want to follow me but um on Facebook, I put my, I did a throwback Thursday again, and this one was just a stand-up side-by-side, and, um, and it, it really, um, you know, I didn't realize how I changed uh, physically, um, and I'm, like I said, changing mentally as well, but you, you just do not realize um, in this WLS journey, or just period, not 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 so much a surgery, but just period. When you are losing weight, um, you find that you are also losing the things that you kept when you were bigger, that made you secure, that made you um, who you were. And I'm finding that those things no longer satisfy me. Those things no longer make me who I am. And uh, and looking at that picture. Um, from just months ago, I mean, that the before picture that I took um, had to be in October, November. Um, I took that picture, and now in July, um, the picture that I had on side of that was taken a few days ago. I think maybe Monday or Tuesday. So um, it's it's crazy, man. I mean, over over a hundred pounds lost. Um, feel wonderful minus the jello legs um but i'm you know it's, it's a good sore so <laughs> i'll take it but um but you just don't realize how much this means to me um how much this weight loss gain means to me how much my evolution means to me how much me being there for my children and my children's children mean to me this is not a game this is nothing to be taken lightly this is life this is your life this is my life and we can make the best of it or we can make the worst of it and my goal my plan is to make the best of it i'm not sitting down and letting life pass me by i'm going to enjoy it I've been doing that for way too long. Um, as Sonia, she did a beast mode video last night. You have to be in a beast mode state of mind. If you want to conquer this thing, if you want to conquer all of the fears that you may have about changing and what people will think and how they're going to feel about you and all this, if you want to change all that, you have to go beast mode. You have to bring out the, the best and the worst of you when you are in that gym, when you are knocking things out, because this is for you. This ain't for me. I want to see you succeed. Whether I succeed or not has no bearing on you. And whether you succeed or not has no bearing on me. But I want you. I want you to succeed, right? Because if you succeed, then we all succeed. So there is no competition here. And I've been hearing that a lot. But there really is no competition here. There is a competition with me, though, for me. 
I want to be better than that joker last year. I want to be better than her. And so that is my goal. That is my aim. And, um, and that's what I'm trying to do. I want to be better than her. So, um, you know, that's, that, that's, <laughs> it has been a blessing, um, for all of you new subscribers, all of you newbies, all of you previews, man, this, this is it. This, this is what it is and you can make the best of it. Um, but you have to go, you have to go, you have to move, you have to walk, you have to run, you have to get in the gym, you have to get in your house, do P90X, do Insanity, do T-Shawn's uh, or Sean T's uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like do something. Um, Diana said it best. You got to get up and move your ass. Yeah, I said it. Move your ass. <laughs> because this game will fail if you don't. You will fail if you don't move your ass. <laughs> so on that one, I'm going to just move on. It's 11 minutes. So um, I'm feeling good today. Even though I'm sore as I'll get out, I'm feeling good today. Um, I'm in size sixes and eights. Your girl is right here on cloud nine. I'm trying to get these, like, I'm trying to get these arms together. Ah, listen, <laughs> your girl. <laughs> yes, 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 bitch. <laughs> your girl is in a good mood and she is sorry for all the explicatives and whatnot. I know you don't, you never get that from me, but, um, I, you know, it comes out every now and again. So, but, um, so I may have to put a warning, you know, some explicatives in the beginning of this. But anyway, um, I just wanted to say hello to you guys. I've been really <laughs> on here all week, so I'm doing this. This is my nightcap. Um, I wish you guys a great weekend, a great rest of your week, day. And, uh, man, y'all get it in. Get it in. If not for you, for your kids. If not for your kids, for your family. If not for your family, damn, for somebody. Just get it in. Get it in. And I promise you, you will come out the victor. So take care. Bye.